digging at the bottom of the horror movie toilet for this shit fest. Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. You know, when I was a kid, I loved the weekends, because I got to go to the local video store and rent whatever I wanted. And I always picked something gory, something badass, something with nudity at least. But this movie, oh god. Ever since I can remember, I loved the Halloween series. I mean, who couldn't love Michael Myers chasing Laurie Strode with that William Shatner mask? Classic. But I noticed the television series never played Halloween 3. I thought, man, this movie must be fucking hardcore. It must be the goriest horror movie of all time. Boy, was I in for a turd in my Cheerios. So one fateful weekend, I rented Halloween 3. And my little kid heart was destroyed. The movie stars Tom Atkins as some loser alcoholic Dr. Daniel Chalice. And guess what? He's our hero. Yeah. No more Jamie Lee Curtis. They said, fuck her. We want some overweight slob to fill her shoes. You might remember him as the dad from Creepshow. He was also in Xena Warrior Princess and My Bloody Valentine. It also has Stacey Nelkins as Ellie Grimbridge. And for the 80s, she was kind of cute, so maybe this movie won't be that bad. One more character worth mentioning is Dan O'Reilly as Colonel Cochran. I guess he'd be the Michael Myers of this shit, Stu. Yeah, some old faggot is the creepy bad guy. Ugh. The movie starts out with some terrible digital drawing of a pumpkin. I feel like I'm looking at some shitty Atari game close up. I don't know why they even bothered to keep this in there. I mean, were they trying to go for the original Halloween? This just looks like my TV got herpes and it's going to have an outbreak on my screen. The opening score is disappointing as well. Again, I feel like I'm jamming to an Atari game. Why not just steal the Halloween theme? It's a fucking classic. You already ruined the goddamn movie. After what feels like an hour of credits, the movie begins. It ensures us that we're in California, not Haddonfield, and it's October 23rd. Yeah, the other movie starts out like a night before, but not this one. It wants to drag this shit out for a week. So anyway, this old guy, Harry Grimfield, is being chased by what looks like agents from the Matrix. And, uh, I love how he kills this one, strangling him. The guy makes no attempt to get out of the way, and even at that speed, I'm sure that wouldn't kill you. So we see that creepy, annoying commercial, which I assume is the new Halloween theme. Eight more days till Halloween. Yeah, Halloween. You better get used to it, because they play this shit over and over and over, till you just want to stick dicks in your ears. So then the old guy ends up in some junkyard and warns some guy that they are coming. They are coming. Where? In your ass? If I was going to warn somebody about something, I wouldn't be so vague about it. So now we introduce our hero. We find out that he's divorced with two kids, and again we hear that damn Silver Shamrock song. We got a call in. Drinking and doctoring, great combination. He's rushed off to the hospital to help with the old man from earlier, and again he gives us some vague ass warning. They're gonna kill us. Who? Could you be more fucking specific? Michael Myers? Nah, I wish. So then, more agents show up, and boy, do they do a number on this old man. Nothing like a couple fingers through the eyeballs. I love how he wipes his gloves on the curtains. So the agent leaves and, oh yeah, sets himself on fire. What was the point of that? Yeah, he couldn't have just gotten away from Tom Atkins. I love how the gas looks like water, and how the car blows up after one second of being on fire. It's so realistic. So you're waiting, waiting for some action, waiting, uh, more commercial ads. God, I can't take it. Where's Michael Myers? Fuck this movie. Oh, wait, what's this bullshit? They mention him in a commercial to watch Halloween 1? That's, that's fucking bullshit. This pile of shit movie is going to pretend like Halloween series before it is just a movie. Where do they come off? I don't know if I can finish this fucking review. I mean, this is the worst Halloween movie ever made. And they made some shitty ass sequels. H2O, The Resurrection. I mean, those were bad. But this, this fucking sucks ass. This is fucking awful. I mean, why don't they just take off the Halloween 3 
and be Season of the Witch. I mean, that would have been a great title, and it would have at least been original. You know, I wouldn't have complained as much, because this movie is trying to pretend to be something it's not. And the whole missing of Michael Myers, that's just stupid. Why would you take him out? Why would you not put him in there? I mean, why didn't they put him in there? Fuck, why don't they throw Pinhead and the Wolfman in there while they're at it? God. Yeah. You know what? I can do this. I can finish this review for you. So you don't ever have to watch this movie. You can just watch this review and be like, huh, I got it. This movie sucks ass. So I'm going to do it for you. I'm going to do it for you. <sighs> Where'd I leave off? Oh, yeah. Hi. Our hero's at his hideout, the bar, when Mine's the old man's daughter finished. shows up. I know. Yeah. Dan Charles. I know. I love how she One says, the, told the hospital I said I could here. find you here. How sad. Everyone knows this fucking loser as a drunk. He should just give up living. I mean, I wouldn't want to live if I was him. So they team up and decide to go to some town where the mask are made. I guess their father went there and blah, blah, blah. This movie's boring the shit out of me. Someone needs to die already. I mean, that would fucking okay. save it. Okay. All right. Fucking death scene. Sweet. What, what? What was he gonna do? Suck their dick? What's going on here? Oh, okay, they're gonna rip his head off. Oh, sweet. Wait, wow, now they're gonna make out? Man, this movie's just too fucking boring. I mean, that death scene did not save it. God damn it. Why does it take so long for people to die? Two things make a good horror movie death and titties. Huh, this movie just doesn't have it. Wait, wait, shower scene? Oh yes! Oh, what? We just see blurry pubes through a fucking stained glass window? Oh man, I remember this as a kid too, trying to beat off to that. That ain't nothing. Wait, oh, what? A sex scene? Oh yeah, oh, what? Why are we looking at Tom Atkins' pasty ass fucking back? No one wants to see that. Oh, he's sucking some boob. Uh, do we get to see it? Fuck no. God, show it already. Man, they don't have no problem showing his ass. God, I'm going to be scarred for life. Fuck that. Well, that didn't do it for me. Well, what, more death? Yes. Oh yeah, mutilate that bitch's face. Shouldn't tamper with that fucking chip thing, whatever that is. One more day to Halloween. There can't be much of this shit left. Uh, so, they're going to that fucking mask factory, finally. Maybe we'll know what this movie's about. Uh, man, who are these fucking annoying people? God, and listen to them, I just want to eat shit. Ugh, God, Smith. shut up. Smith, of course. Oh, great, we get to see this faggot more. And I can't believe they replaced Michael Myers with this Lucky Charms asswad. Oh shit, we find out that the agents are actually robots, and that our villain, Mr. Cockass, is using his Halloween mask to mass murder millions of children around the world by playing his Halloween theme song on Halloween. I guess your brain melts and bugs come out your skull, and aliens beam come in your brain. Yeah, I just don't know. This is really lame. Trying to kill innocent kids? <laughs> Fuck that Cochrane guy. So they kidnap the lady, and the hero has to break into the factory for one last showdown. Yeah, and like a dumbass, he gets caught talking to a mannequin. Yeah, I thought that mannequin was a human. <sighs> Jesus. Finally, it's fucking Halloween. Can't be much of this shitty movie left. Imagine if Rob Zombie made a sequel to this. Like all cliche movies, they don't kill the hero. Yeah, instead they lock him up where he can easily escape and force him to watch a good horror movie, Halloween 1. So, Using his MacGyver skills, he manages to cut the restraints and throw a mask onto the camera watching him. What a badass. So he climbs through some heater ducts, climbs some roofs, does some Jaeger bombs, hides behind boxes, calls some sex hotlines, frees the girl, runs some more, hides behind mask, and... Uh, does it ever end? So somehow, out of all the computers in this room, he knows which one to turn on that stupid commercial. And his master plan to stop evil is to throw poker chips, or whatever that is, into that main computer. Wow, that deserves an Oscar for that plot. Then this blue shit comes out of nowhere and blows the whole factory to bits. What a climax. I was on the edge of my seat to turn off this fucking movie. <sighs> but it's not over yet. Yeah, Ellie is a robot. Yeah, what a twist, right? So our hero fucked a robot. What a lucky guy. Yeah, beat the shit out of that bitch. 
beat her. Turn it off. Stop it. 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 Stop it